still the champion will he be in a few minutes time or will this young man take over and add gold from here tonight at these world championships in berlin to that that's just desire to know what you want to understand why you're doing it to dedicate every breath in your body to achieve if you feel you have something to give, if you feel that your particular talent is worth developing, is worth caring for, then there's nothing you can't achieve. Great moments are born from great opportunity. That's what you have here. That's what you've earned here tonight. The 100 meters, or 100 meter dash, is a sprint race in track and field competitions. The shortest common outdoor running distance, it is one of the most popular and prestigious events in the sport of athletics. It has been contested at the Summer Olympics since 1896 for men. The goal of the race is simple, cross the finish line as fast as possible while staying in your own lane respectively. To understand the basic physics of running, you can think of your limbs as pendulums. A pendulum's velocity depends on the length of the pendulum, not the mass at the bottom. If a pendulum is shorter, the speed of the mass at the bottom is faster. Think of your feet as the mass at the end of the pendulum. Then assume that your legs are the pendulums. In order to shorten the pendulum, you bend your knees. This is very simple, and obviously you have realized that it is very difficult to run with your knees locked. Therefore, you will run faster if your knees are bent. At the start of the race when the athletes are on the blocks they are stationary and have no forward velocity, once pushing off the blocks athletes experience forward acceleration which continues until maximum velocity at maximum velocity you move to the phase called, the acceleration phase is the most important phase in a race. During this phase, after the sprinter has left the blocks, the athlete increases the length of their stride and decreases the amount of strides taken per second. Men usually have a rate of 4.6 strides per second and women a little more with 4.8 strides per second. Professional sprinters reach their highest speed at about the 60 to 70 meter mark in a 100 meter race for men. Professional women sprinters reach their top speeds at 50 to 60 meters. The acceleration phase differs at different levels of competition. Top runners usually cover 20 to 30 meters at top speed. Newton's third law plays a significant role in the 100 meter sprint. When you run your foot exerts a force on the ground backwards while the ground exerts an equal and opposite force on your foot propelling the body forwards. When you run at maximum velocity due to inertia the body will not be able to stop all of a sudden because inertia will cause your body to keep moving forward. Newton's third law does not only play a role during the race but also during the start. The last 10 to 20 meters of the 100 meter dash are described as the deceleration phase due to fatigue. Even though it is said to be the deceleration phase, it is being noticed that top athletes are becoming able to maintain their maximum velocity for longer intervals allowing them to pass the finish line with a higher speed. Sprinters have improved a great deal, but there is still deceleration at the end of the race. Just not as much. The competition rules at the finish line are that the final time is calculated from when the trunk of the athlete passes the finish line. Therefore this is why we see athletes falling at the end of their race. They lean forward at the end. Because they are traveling with a great deal of momentum that has built up over the race, they are propelled downward and fall.